NBA young boy, whose real name is Kentrell Deshaun Galden, was born on October 20, 1999 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He was raised in one of the rougher hoods, which is known for its high crime rates and poverty. Growing up, NBA Youngboy family structure consisted of his mother, Sharonda Galden, who raised him and his siblings alone because his father was locked during most of his childhood after being sentenced to 55 years for a robbery gone wrong. His moms would often work two jobs to put food on the table and drop them off at their grandmother's house like most households. NBA Youngboy attended several different schools and had a hard time after always getting suspended in school. At the age of seven, he discovered his love for music and would spend hours listening to artists like Lil Wayne, Tupac, and Jay-Z, which motivated him to start writing his own lyrics. He found out that music provided a way for him to escape. Despite his young age, NBA Youngboy quickly showed a talent for rapping. His mother recognized and encouraged him to pursue his dreams and helped him record his first songs. Youngboy's childhood was far from easy, but his experiences molded him into the artist he is today. He began working on his skills as a rapper during his childhood years and started to take music more seriously in his teenage years. He started uploading his music to YouTube and other online platforms and quickly gained a little following. In 2015, at the age of 16, NBA Youngboy released his first mixtape, Life Before Fame. The project received good feedback and helped to establish him as an up-and-coming artist to be on the lookout for. He followed up with a couple more successful mixtapes including Mind of a Menace, Mind of a Menace 2, and 38 Baby, which featured fellow Baton Rouge natives. Boozy Badass and Kevin Gates. This made it hit with his fans a little different than some of the other artists. His lyrics often dealt with difficult subjects such as poverty, violence, and discussions of his own personal struggles. This authenticity helped him to connect with his audience and build a dedicated fan base. With his rise to popularity, he soon became involved in local rap beef. Then, in November 2016, Youngboy was arrested in Austin, Texas on suspicion of attempted first-degree murder in connection with an alleged drive-by shooting. While in jail in East Baton Rouge Parish, Louisiana, Youngboy didn't let that stop him and re-released his two mixtapes before I go in mind of a menace three. NBA was released from prison in May 2017 after taking a plea deal and posting bail. A week after leaving prison, he released the single Untouchable and the success of Untouchable helped NBA Youngboy to be one of the top acts in the rap scene and he became one of the most talked about artists of that year. He kept putting pressure on the game and released a video for his song 41 that included cameos from notable artists like Meek Mill, Young Thug, 21 Savage, Boozy Badass, and Yo Gotti. On August 3rd, 2017, he released his mixtape, AI Youngboy. The project debuted at number 24 on the Billboard 200 chart. Although the music was undeniable, he was still dealing with his fair share of challenges. He kept having run-ins with the law, including charges for assault, weapons possession, and kidnapping. These instances also had people looking at his lyrics a little differently. Despite everything that was going on, NBA Youngboy remained focused on his music and continued to build his fan base, though. He released several more successful projects, including Reeler and AI Youngboy 2, shortly after signing a joint venture deal with Atlantic Records. The album Until Death Call. My name was released on April 27, 2018. He was arrested in February 2018 and he promised a new mixtape. So when Youngboy was released from jail on March 15th, his next mixtape, Master the Day of Judgment, was released on May 19th, 2018. He focused more on his music and released a couple of successful mixtapes that featured Lil Wayne, Juice World, and The Baby, just to name a few. His 2018 collaboration with Chicago rapper Juice World, Bandit, became a viral hit and was certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America. The success was there at every turn, but it didn't slow down his numerous legal issues. A lawsuit filed against him by a former girlfriend who accused him of physical abuse. The suit was related to charges where in an incident he allegedly assaulted his girlfriend and prevented her from leaving a hotel room. He was eventually released on bail, but the incident again brought negative attention to his personal life. In 2019, he revealed that he has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and that he takes medication to help manage his symptoms. He has also spoken about struggling with anxiety and depression. Despite the obstacles, NBA Youngboy has continued to release music and continue building his career. In fact, some of his most popular songs have addressed his personal struggles head on. For example, his song No Mentions deals with the fallout from his arrest on kidnapping and assault charges. In addition to his legal issues with his girlfriend, he has also had public feuds with other rappers and has been involved in multiple altercations. Some of these incidents have been caught on camera and shared on social media, 
Some of his more popular beefs have included Takashi 6 9 Kodak Black, and Lil Durk. He even had some with the, some of the older guys like Kevin Gates and Jay Prince. Some of these beefs have still been going on to date. Being only in his early 20s, he has already fathered several children with his relationships often making headlines. NBA is linked to several high-profile women in the entertainment industry. He has been involved with fellow rapper Dej Rose Gold, model Jania Michelle, and social media influencer Yaya Mayweather, among others. However, despite the controversy surrounding his relationships, Youngboy has continued to have children with different women. He has been open about his desire to be a good father, though, and spends plenty of time with his kids. He's seen often sharing photos and videos of his children on social media. However, fatherhood is a challenge for any dad, and he's spoken openly about his love for his children and his desire to be a positive influence in their lives. Youngboy has often used his personal life as inspiration for his music, writing lyrics that are raw and introspective. In songs like Valuable Pain and No Smoke, Youngboy reflects on his past relationships and the pain that they have caused him. In Genie, he addresses his children, expressing his love and devotion to them. With most of his legal troubles behind him, he's been releasing new music and for the most part staying out of the way, except for a little back and forth online with your favorite rappers.